Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode, we're going to face West Ham and Arsenal, two sides who are quite close to us on the table, particularly West Ham. They have been our uh, challenges basically for the last Europa League spot in the league. We've played about five games since the January transfer window, the first game of which was a 1-0 home win against Newcastle United. Oliver McBurney getting the goal in the ninth minute to give us a quite comfortable victory here. Next up was a 2-0 home win against Brentford, Alexander Isaac from the penalty spot and Ender Stevens on the 48th minute. Again, another comfortable win. Another home tie and another home win, 3-0, no goals conceded in the past three games. Ender Stevens, Jean-Pierre and Sebastiano Esposito getting the goals for us. And then a hugely disappointing away result against Manchester United. Isaac had put us in front 20 minutes in and it wasn't until the 86th minute that Paul Pogba eventually equalised. And then Daniel James in the 92nd minute gave Manchester United the win. And finally was our FA Cup 5th round uh, tie against Chelsea, which we ended up losing 3-1. Uh, Ender Stevens with the goal for us, but Piatek, Pulisic and Tomori getting the goals for them to see them through to the next round. And after those run of fixtures, the Premier League table looks like this. We currently sit in 7th position, 1 point behind West Ham, who are today's first game. It will be a massive, massive win if we manage to be able to get it. And if we do end up getting beat might be the end of our chances of sixth place in the Premier League. Um, and then we've got Arsenal after that who currently sit fourth. So this January period and following has been an absolutely superb run. We went, what, six games without conceding now. Five wins on the bounce in the Premier League, which is just absolutely stupendous. It's not something you expect a team only the second season in to be able to do. But we're doing incredibly well this season. And even if everything was to fall apart from this point on, We've well exceeded expectations. As you can see by the club vision, the uh, the claim in my manager performance is an A plus right now, and a lot of it is coming from our Premier League performances, which is nice to see. But that brings us on to today's first game against West Ham at home, and this will be the lineup: Jack Butland and goal, Basham, Onjean, and O'Connell in the defence, with Baldock and Stevens as our wing backs. Oliver Norwood and John Fleck in the centre of midfield, with Jean Pierre in behind Alexander Isaac and Esposito. Kerr is injured for this match, he's still going to be out for another week or so, so he'll probably miss the Arsenal game. And Pellegrini is still returning from injury after a long spell out. So we do have a little bit of a week inside going in against West Ham today. They are obviously having a fantastic season themselves, so we're going to be, have to be at our very best if we're to get a win today. First highlight of the game, four minutes in, West Ham look pretty high pressed. Hopefully our boys can be smart about the player at the back. And be able to knock it around them as O'Connell goes for a long ball over the top. Goes all the way to Fabianski who instead of picking it up kicks it out. And Norwood knocks it down to Jean-Pierre. Nearly. I thought he tried, he tried to find Esposito there in behind. But the defender managed to get in there and block it. The highlight continues though. Felipe Anderson switches the play to Ryan Fredericks on this right hand side for West Ham. He plays the ball in. I mean, does he? He hits the side net. Not an absolutely awful cross. And an awful highlight. 15 minutes in and our second highlight of the game. It's Sheffield United in possession once more. But we give a ball away and Yarmolenko can drive forward for West Ham. Cutting in off that right hand side. He's beat his man and he goes for goal. And that is a little bit of an awful shot. He should be putting West Ham 1-0 up there. Another highlight now and we are on the attack once again. Hopefully we won't give the ball away and let West Ham counter us. Which seems to have been the certain pattern of play. But Ender Stevens gets the ball in. George Baldock's at back post. And he gets his header and he hits the post. Very close. Very close. Another highlight now. Free kick. Oliver Norwood steps over and he goes for goal. Fabianski dilly dallies it off. And Esposito manages to get in another rebound and he puts us 1-0 up. The offside flag hasn't come up, which is absolutely fantastic. Fabianski here. This is absolutely awful. The keeper should be doing 10 times better with that. But Esposito with his seventh goal of the season makes no mistake. And we get a goal from a set piece. Lovely. West Ham straight on the attack after that goal and it's with Garcia on the left hand side. He finds Fredericks on the edge. He's, oh, he's done his man. He manages to go for goal but Butland keeps them out and keeps us in front. Another highlight now. Oliver Norwood on the edge of the area. Plays it back to Baldock. It's cleared only as far as Alexander Isaac. Jean-Pierre takes a strike from the edge and it goes well wide. Another highlight now. West Ham with the ball on the left hand side once again. We're getting men back but we're not managing to get the challenge in. And we intercept a pass, but we give the ball straight back. And Yarmolenko receives the ball on the right-hand side, plays the ball in. Jack Butland 
claims it. Jean-Pierre with the ball through on the left-hand side for Esposito gets in behind Fabianzi with a decent save. You would imagine that was probably going wide if he'd just left her, but he didn't. Um, oh, oh my God, is that a penalty? No, it's been given as a free kick. I didn't I didn't think it was a penalty. I wasn't expecting one. And there we are, half-time, Sheffield United 1, West Ham 0. Esposito with the goal to put us in front. A decent first half. West Ham have had a couple of opportunities, but no need for any changes just now and hope that we can maybe build on this and get another goal to put us a bit more comfortable position. We'll pick up with this highlight here. Norwood finds Isaac, who finds Baldock on the right-hand side. Ball's whipped in Ender Stevens. And if he gets his head on target there, it's going in because there was some pace on that. Another highlight now. Esposito finds Alexander Isaac. He's got two on one. He gets dispossessed though by Garcia and Fredericks clears for West Ham. Another highlight now. Yarmolenko is breaking for West Ham. At pace. He completely does all the defence. goes. I mean, his finishing is absolutely shocking. That's the second time today. He has completely scuffed his shot. He did actually go out for a corner, so maybe it wasn't as bad as first thought. But um, yeah, West Ham have had some good opportunities today, particularly for Yarmolenko. And um, they're not doing particularly well. 66 minutes in now and there's another highlight. West Ham really are banging on the door in this second half with Garcia coming down the left-hand side. Baldock chases him down. Falls to Sebastian Haller, who gets his 12th goal of the season. And West Ham finally get their goal. A little bit disappointing for Garcia being able to make it all the way down to the byline the way he did. Um, no challenge coming in from number 16 here. Norwood, who was the guy chasing him back. Baldock falls into the centre-half role rather than helping to close him down. And Sebastian Haller is completely unmarked on the six-yard box and puts West Ham level. And there is another highlight in the second half that absolutely come in thick and fast and they're all come on West Ham's way, which is hugely disappointing. Jack Wilshire picks up the ball on the left-hand side, finds Jack Grealish in behind, he goes for goal, and that goes just wide. We're going to go to a cautious team mentality. Positive isn't seeming and working all right now. And with 15 minutes to go, we will look to make some changes. We'll bring on Kieran Freeman for Baldock on that right-hand side. We're going to get Oliver McBurney on and we'll take off Alexander Isaac up top for him. Five minutes to go and there's a free kick for West Ham in an attacking area. It falls to four niles on the edge of the box. Back to Jack Grealish. The ball's played in and Felipe Anderson gets his fourth goal of the season and puts West Ham 2-1 up. We've held out for a pretty long time in this game but we've been dreadful in the second half. We've been really, really poor. And I mean West Ham did show that they were definitely had attack and threat even in the first half, but this second half, we have been really poor and we've been made to pay the price for it. We looked to make our final sub of the game, Lee Smooth second come on for Esposito up top. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference at this point, not long enough left in the game. And there we are, Sheffield United 1, West Ham 2. That pretty much ends our European hopes, I would think. And there's the league table after that result. We still sit in 7th, 6 points ahead of Wolves in 8th, who do have a couple of games in hand on us though. And we are now four points behind West Ham in sixth. It's going to be very difficult to catch them back up at once again. Uh, we've got Arsenal next, who are sitting in fourth position. We're away from home against them, so I'll see you there. And we're back for the Arsenal game. The only changes that have been made to the starting lineup was Luca Pellegrini returns. Ender Stephen drops to the bench. Uh, likely Hood is. Pellegrini will come off shortly after half time, only returning from a three month injury. Uh, relatively recently so Arsenal obviously best better team than us they've got better players uh, Stefan De Vrij they brought in Alvarez Edson Alvarez is a really really good centre half that they've managed to sign as well so they've improved their back line which is one of the weaker areas they brought in the likes of Rafa and Luis Alberto as well to strengthen their attack so it's got to be difficult they're currently sitting fifth position they are fighting for Champions League football and um, let's see if we can get a point 10 minutes in and we get our first highlight. Esposito with a great challenge there, but De Vrij manages to mop it up for the Arsenal defence. Hector Bellerin carries the ball down this right-hand side. He's completely away now. He's managed to make it to the byline. Finds Rafa at the back post. He drives it forward. Jack Butland with a great save. Bellerin keeps it in play. Oh, man. Rafa ends up putting Arsenal 1-0 up. His 11th goal of the season. The assist coming from Hector Bellerin here. The ball stayed alive. He finds Pepe, who plays it back to Bellerin, and then gets the back post cross, and just a little bit overpowered, and Rafa gets a good little strike on it and puts it back to the far post, and Jack Butland can't do anything about that. We go 1-0 down straight away. 
Another highlight now, corner for Arsenal this time. The ball's cleared by Egan, but Rafa picks up the ball back to Kieran Tierney. Got the man back post as well if he wants to find him. Luis Alberto tries to play it in, but Baldock manages to get rid of him. Maybe we can break here with Jean-Pierre. He hasn't got very many options ahead of him, but John Fleck manages to pick up the ball. Caro with a great pass to Esposito in the attacking line. John Fleck receives the ball, takes a strike, and it goes in the back of the net. John Fleck with an absolutely fantastic strike. Leno would probably feel a little bit disappointed that he didn't manage to keep that out, but that's the seventh goal of the season for Fleck from central midfield. Um, he's, com he's completely outdoing some of our uh, strikers here, but John Fleck with a great strike from the edge. Leno gets his hand to it. It just about makes it over the line, and we level things up 1-1. Luca Pellegrini has picked up a knock and will have to come off in his first game back. Ender Stevens can replace him at left wing back. We'll pick up with this highlight here with Rafa coming down the left hand side for Arsenal. He beats his man, he goes for goal and it goes well over. Another highlight now, Nicolas Pepe driving forward. Like I said with a strike, what a great challenge that was. But it falls back to Pepe, hits a post. Ender Stevens manages to get it clear. We are surviving by the skin of our teeth. Another highlight now, John Fleck picks up the ball. Jean-Pierre finds Esposito through in the back line. And Esposito scores a one-on-one. -on -one. Take, a, take a bow, my son. Take an absolute bow. His eighth goal of the season, Jean-Pierre with the assist. And it's not something you're going to see too often on FM20 this year. Bellerin manages to get it clear only as far as Fleck. Jean-Pierre then finds Esposito with the run. And he does Leno and manages to find the back of the net. 2-1. Another highlight now, Luis Alberto with the ball. <clears throat> with the corner for Arsenal, the ball falls to Rafa on the edge of the box, who plays it out to De Vries on this left-hand side. Hector Bellerin ends up bringing the ball forward and finds Pepe on this right-hand side. Does his man, he's in behind, but he's only got a left foot, so he hits the side net. Another highlight now, we are in possession in the midfield area. John Fleck finds Baldock on this right-hand side. Tries to get past his man, but he's being held up, and Tierney with a decent challenge to break away for Arsenal. He's got, he's got so much pace, nobody can catch him. He's got to the byline. Oliver Norwood with a decent challenge, but doesn't manage to put the ball out of play. Um, what? Are you joking me? Do not give a penalty after this. Thank God for that. Well, we've managed to make it half-time 2-1 up. <laughs> Looking at the match stats, I don't really know how. Let's kick off for the second half, shall we? Another highlight now, um, Arsenal coming down the right-hand side this time with Maitland Niles. He plays the ball in, Baldock manages to clear only as far as Lucas Torreira, who finds Guendouzi. Back to Torreira, nice player to find Kieran Tierney on the left-hand side. Stevens gets it clear this time, but Arsenal are all about keeping up this pressure. Maitland Niles with the ball on the right-hand side, does, his, does two men, gets in the box. Butland with a decent save, Rafa though plays it back to Guendouzi. Butland with another save, and another, oh man... Butland, three saves off the bounce. He couldn't manage to make it four. Nicolas Pepe gets his 11th goal of the season to draw Arsenal level. It was some decent play by Maitland Niles. This does two men. Butland with a decent save. Falls to Rafa, who plays it to Guendouzi. Butland with another save, but Pepe, at the second time of asking, manages to get the goal to bring Arsenal level. 56 minutes in now, and Arsenal are on the attack once again. Guendouzi plays it through to Lacazette, hits the post on Jean. Gets rid and we survive again. How? Another highlight now. Luis Alberto with a free kick. Finds Kieran Tini at the back post. Hits the bar. Luis Alberto again. Bal Baldock manages to get it clear. Please just give us a bit of a reprieve. Esposito picks up the ball on this left-hand side. Gets hacked down by Maitland Niles and we get a free kick. Things have calmed down a little bit since Arsenal have managed to get the equaliser. Hopefully we can save the rest of this game and get a point. But... You never know, things might go our way a little bit more than that. John Fleck finds Onjin, who plays the ball over the top, tries to find Isaac. Leno comes for it and manages to claim. Rafa comes down the left-hand side for Arsenal, goes for goal and goes wide. Only four minutes to, to go in this match and there is another highlight. Arsenal playing it about at the back and doing really well to retain possession. Rafa's managed to make it in behind the defence once again and he goes for goal and it goes wide. Only two minutes remaining, and we'll look to make some changes. George Baldock's done well out there. We'll get him off. I mean, he hasn't done well. We'll get Freeman on in his place, and we'll get Ben Osborne in place for John Fleck. But Arsenal might come forward and get a goal here with De Vries. They've got a lot of men bombing forward. Willick's in behind. He goes for goal, and he hits the side netting. Whew, and that was a tough game. It managed 
Being able to get a draw out of that is absolutely fantastic. John Fleck and Esposito with the goals for us. Rafa and Pepe with the goals for them. Arsenal will feel aggrieved that they didn't get the three points. But getting a point away from home against somebody competing for the Champions League is absolutely fantastic stuff by us. And we still sit in seventh position after that uh, result. Three points behind West Ham. Seven points ahead of Wolves. So uh, seventh is looking pretty comfortable for us right now. If we can... Uh, Keep up the momentum and keep up that level of performance. Maybe, just maybe, we might be able to keep in touch with West Ham and pinch a Europa League spot. Looking forward to the next episode. We are just going to get to the end of the season and play Manchester City and Everton. Um, obviously, a good few games in between there. But because we're not competing for anything too major, we'll just get to the end and get this season done with. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.